Hello, welcome to Handsome Griffin's uh, 11 tutorial in MATLAB. Today we're looking at morphological image processing. And as you can see here, hopefully, uh, I've written my code in the MATLAB editor. Okay, and you can also see that um, for some odd reason uh, they should be in red, but anyway, I've set some um, breakpoints. Okay, so Let's run this and we go up to here and that runs. Okay, so what happens? Line 5, we've cleared the workspace. Line 6, we've cleared the screen. Line 10, we've read in blob. And line 12, we've shown it. We'll see this in a second or two. And in line 16 to 18, I've inverted. Why did I want to do that? Well, So, figure one is the original image. And the original image now is the foreground is black and the background is white. In image processing, normally the, f the objects of interest are considered to be white and the background is considered to be black. So, this is not the case in the original image, so I had to invert it. How did I invert it? What line did I invert it on? I inverted it on line 16 and line 17. So 255 minus A. So A is the array here, figure 1. So if a pixel was 255 in that array, 255 minus 255 is 0, which is black. And likewise, if a pixel was black, so in other words, 0, it's 255 minus 0 is 255. Okay. Go back to the command prompt. I have the K double, and what's that saying here? That is uh, telling me that I have a breakpoint, and F5 continues. So, I've displayed something else has happened, so let's try and get them in order. Now, what's happened here? I've unlocked on line 20, I created a structuring element. Now, a structuring element is the object or the element that will either create the dilation or the erosion. If you were dilating, you would think of the structuring element as the size of the paintbrush. And if it was in erosion, it would be sort of the size of the rubber. Okay, so we've had a pause here. So let's show them up here again. Figure 1, the original. Figure 2, the original inverted, and figure 3, the eroded image. And you can see here, when you erode, you're eroding the foreground, you're eroding the white. And when you erode the white, and I don't think there's much more to say, uh, hopefully it's fairly obvious. Okay. We're on line 32 down here, we've just paused, and what's going to happen here is we're going to dilate. So, how do we dilate? You go back to the command prompt, F5 continues. And let's try and get them stacked up again here. Now, we've done a dilation. I'm not even going to look at the code for a minute. So, figure two, the original, with the inverted original. And we've dilated. So what happens when you dilate? You make the objects bigger. So you've dilated here. Okay. And likewise, these uh, peninsulas, or whatever you want to call them, or sticker outers in very bad English, you've made them bigger. That's great. So how did I do that? I did dilate. The command is im dilate. I showed it here. And I've just put a checkpoint here on line 42. And what's going to happen on line 42? I'm going to open. An opening is an erosion followed by a dilation. So go back to the command prompt. F5 continues. Something has happened, we're not too sure which. No. An opening is an erosion followed by a dilation. So, there's my original image, the inverted image. An erosion, there's the erosion, and we've dilated that. We've dilated that. And the dilation of figure 3 gives me figure 5. Compare figure 5 with figure 2. What's happened? That we've got rid of the uh, promontories, the peninsulas, 
the sticker outers, whatever word you want to use, and we've kept these sort of internal inlets here. Okay, so an opening is an erosion followed by a dilation, and a closing is a dilation followed by an erosion. So just carry on. Let's try and arrange everything here. Okay. So an opening is a dilation followed by an erosion. So original figure two, dilated figure four, and erode that, and we so we've eroded four, and we get six. Okay. So compare six with two, what's happened? You've kept your parameters, you've kept your peninsulas, you've kept your sticker outers, but you got rid of the of the inlets, the, uh, the inlets here. Okay, how do we execute that? Let's look at it out here. Sorry, wrong place. The code, well, no surprise for guessing that the command to close an image in MATLAB is I am close. And finally, just to remind you again, uh, we want to publish the image, or publish the code, I should say. So we're going to publish the HTML. And there we all are. Okay. Just to remind you again, what's the link? There's the HTML file. Just go back to the code. So, double quote. Okay, so each double cell will give me a table of contents. See here. And then we have the single quote down here I am at the moment. Gives me the bullet point. The code comes up. Keep going on. We get the images. And... I think everything is reasonably self-explanatory. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.